Hey, hey everybody, my name is Ross Myers with BunkerMunitions.com and today I want to talk to you about a valuable piece of information regarding the calibers and bullets for your AR style rifles. So the two most common are the 223 Remington and the 556 NATO. Um, to the naked eye, these are extremely similar. They're almost impossible to differentiate to the naked eye without looking at the head stamps, which I'll throw up an image of those uh, in a little bit. But the 556 NATO, the base diam diameter of it is about two one thousandths of an inch bigger than your 223 Remington. Um, from the base to the cartridge tip is about three one thousandths of an inch difference. So they're extremely similar and hard to tell apart without having that head stamp or a pair of calipers. But the big question that I get asked a lot is, can I shoot a 223 Remington out of my AR that says it's chambered for 556 native? And the answer is yes. So the 223 Remington is the civilian version of the military's adaptation of the 556. Um, like I said, it's a little bit smaller. The 223 has a 55 grain bullet. It travels at about 3,200 feet per second uh, for the velocity, and it generates about 55,000 PSI uh, in your chamber. The 556 NATO, on the other hand, is a little bit heavier of a bullet. It weighs 62 grains. Uh, because it weighs 62 grains, it travels a little bit slower at about 3,100 feet per second. So not a lot of velocity difference. But making a heavier bullet travel at near the same velocity as a lighter bullet, you have to have increased pressure. So these have a chamber pressure of about 62,000 PSI. Now, any rifle that's rated for 5.56 can shoot your 223. And the reason for that is the chamber is milled and specced to handle the higher pressure of your 5.56 rounds. So putting a 223 in there isn't going to affect it. Now, where you get into waters you don't want to be is when you have a rifle that is chambered only for 223 and you put a 5.56 cartridge in it. Now, if you do that and you shoot it one time, odds are nothing's going to happen. Um, but repeated uses of 556 five, and a 223 only rifle your that increased chamber pressure for a gun that wasn't spec for that you can run into a variety of options you can start getting mushrooming on your bolt you can wear your chamber out uh, potentially fracture it the the chances of you having a catastrophic failure i want to say are minimal um, it's not going to leave you fingerless uh, from doing it but it will damage your rifle, and it's just not good to do. But the being able to spot the difference is all about these head stamps. I'll throw up the picture now of what I took. The 223 Remington is usually going to be marked 223 Remington. The 556 NATO, on the other hand, uh, may just have a symbol on it, and it's the NATO symbol that denotes that it's for military use. And that's all there is to it. So if you've got a 5.56 rifle, you can run your 223 in it all day long without having an issue. You may have a drop in some pressure because the 223, even though it's only a few thousandths of an inch smaller than the 5.56 in both diameter and length, that still is going to allow that case to expand in the chamber and you're going to lose some pressure there. But it's not going to damage your rifle at all. And 223, a lot of times, is cheaper and easier to find than your standard 556. So going out to the range and just plinking, it's a really good option to save some money and get it if you can. And you don't have to worry about it damaging your firearm at all. And that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, again, I'm Ross Myers with BunkerMunitions.com. Thanks for watching.